Kiwi families are getting smaller. The average is now just 1.9 children. So imagine having 14 kids. Think of the chaos and the noise. But it needn't be like that. The McAllister family is one of the three biggest in the country. Jane McAllister has not only produced 14 babies, she's also bred success. Several of her children have been sporting champions, and Jane herself has time left over to run an international Happy business. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Victoria McAllister's 18th birthday, and there's quite a gathering. They're not friends, they're her six big brothers and sisters, and seven little brothers and sisters. No religious or cultural reason, this family just grew that way, much to everybody's fascination. Oldest boys Marcus and Andrew have heard all the jibes. What's the most often asked question? Oh, I've got that one. Uh, what is it? Are your parents Catholic? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, do they not have a TV? Uh, yeah, so... Um, are they part rabbit? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Just all sorts of things. Did you ever envisage that you'd be producing 14 children? Never. Never really, no. Not at all? No. No, never. would have been shocked. This is the easiest and quietest way to get them all together in one room. A portrait gallery by Jane's mother has grown with the family. Jane, 46, and Sam, 48, are proud of their lineup. Who's who? Um, it goes Andrew, 30, Marcus, uh, 29 now, Felicity, 27, Christopher, 25, Emma, 22, James, 20, Victoria 18, Isaac 15, no, 16. 16, 16, Rebecca 13, 13. Yeah. Yeah. Elizabeth 10, Nick, um, eight. Nick 8, Charlotte 6, William nearly 4 next week, and um, Hamish who is 15 months. 15 months. But some people would say 14 children, that is ridiculous, just stop it. Mm. But that's... That's really up to the individual how many children they have and, and it's suited us. We wouldn't have had 14 children unless we could have afforded to have had them. Yeah. I mean, that would have been stupid. Yet when they started out, Jane was a pregnant 16-year-old and Sam worked three jobs to support his teenage bride. There was just nothing else I would have done. I just loved babies and it was just the right time for me. I think we were just right for each other. We just had to think of ways and do things to get ahead. The teenagers were taken in by Jane's parents, Steve and Patricia Davies, who had to get over their shock that Jane had dropped out of school to have the baby. We were devastated, weren't we? Absolutely. I was broken hearted. I wondered we, what, where I'd gone wrong. When we saw Jane and Sam get married, we thought, gosh, they've got a struggle. But the struggle has strengthened their marriage. Why haven't you kissed me today? And strengthened family bonds. There's no new age strategies around here, just old fashioned values. Respect, self-sufficiency and love. Bye night. Hello. And only recently has the family been able to afford a nanny and a housekeeper. As the family's grown, so has the budget. The weekly running cost, around $2,000. Not to mention a mushrooming house, three bathrooms and six bedrooms. And as quickly as one child leaves home, another takes his or her place. Have a good day. How many are living at home? How many? Eight. Nine. So we have... <laughs> <laughs> How do you work at nine? <laughs> well, maybe I'm wrong. You are wrong. Andrew, Marcus, Felicity, Christopher. They've all left. James. Emma's back. Oh, that's, that's a temporary, we're talking, oh, that's temporary. Well, she's back. Oh, OK, well, there's nine, yeah. So is there nine? Normally eight. There's not, well, there's nine, isn't there, Temporarily if someone's back? Temporarily nine. Yeah, well, you need to get to put on the bumper seat, please. Sam, do you want to do that? Hey? William. Do you ever go, oh, my God, we're missing one? William. Well, not often. it has happened on occasion, <laughs> yes. But that's a long time ago. But you do, you do have to, well, yes, I have left one very short time. Somewhere. Your mind's constantly active. We're such and such, we're so and so. Okay, let's go. I want to go shopping. Jane's supermarket strategy is little and often, but shopping any time for at least 11 is no small task. Well, why buy more than you need right now? I mean, you're not going to get a discount for buying bulk, am I? Well, all I'll do for meat is I only buy what I'm going to do tonight. Right. 
because so I, because I don't pre-organise what I'm going to cook from night to night. Okay, let's go this way. Jane buys simple food and all year round barbecues make meal times easier. No, we'll go down there. That way. Are you being good, Bob? William? That's enough. Because you remember what? Nick Hay. Behave. Behave. William? William? Okay. Sam? Um, no, it's not you. Liz, where's Liz? Crosscut. Do we need any crosscut? Have we run out of crosscut? Hello, Hamish. Hello, Hamish. What should we buy? Where is Elizabeth gone? Oh, she's gone with Emma. It's all right. Keep on pushing, keep on pushing. Okay, cruskets maybe. Those snacks. In the early days, they struggled to feed the kids, but now two family businesses are paying off. The weekly grocery bill is about twice the size of the average pay packet. And how much do I spend on groceries? I mean, remember, times of charge. I think it was about $15, $10, yeah. And we're and we really had to sort of budget it. I had to be really careful. And you had more than one child at that stage? We had, would have had two, two, yeah, Andrew Marcus at that stage. And now what do you reckon you spend on groceries a week? Probably a grand. A grand. Mm. Have you got twins or something? No, 14. What are you? are kidding. You're too young. No, it's... Uh, and it's that's just up the top-up Saturday shop. Lunch, dinner and a few necessities. Andrew couldn't because he's um, he had to work, but everyone else... Second eldest, Marcus, has invited the team for lunch. And family get-togethers are strictly BYO in this family. It's just everybody working together. I mean, if I'm cooking dinner and, and one of the children sees that, you know, I need a hand, they'll sort of give me a hand or, you know, Sam comes in and mm. you and I work together. Yeah, we like a bit of organisation because it would be bedlam. Right, it's really nice to see them all together and especially watching them all interact. Like I find that really nice when I see the little ones interacting with the older ones and yeah, re we really like it. But we're often exhausted when they all leave. <laughs> the there used to be a time when, probably after we'd had about five of the children that, uh, you know, six, seven, eight, and people would um, pass, pass, pass comment, you know. Oh, when are they going to stop, you know, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> But there came a point in time where I thought, blow this, I got older, more mature, and I thought, nah, people aren't going to tell me how, to, how many children I should have and how many children I shouldn't have. This is what I want to do, this is what we want to do, and that's what we do. How long have you actually breastfed? Probably in total about 28 years. My goodness, how does a woman do that? I don't know, I don't know any, diff any different. I just like to breastfeed my babies. Have you ever used birth control? No. Never. This doesn't factor into the lifestyle of you and Sam. Well, it's not. It, well, the fact is that we've never decided that we've had enough children, so what's the point? Beautiful. It wasn't enough just to produce babies. Beautiful boy, William. Jane McAllister wanted to dress as many as she could as well. In the early days, Jane couldn't afford to buy her baby's clothes so the keen embroiderer made her own. And like everything in this family, it grew into her own label called Dimples. And today there's a photo shoot for the new organic Merino range. Business partner and eldest daughter Felicity's on hand to coax the best out of the talent. Boo -boo. Do you want to put the cardigan on, Fluss? And there's never any shortage of models in this family. Today it's Felicity's son, baby William. He's done very well. He's done very well. Give him a feed, Fluss. What are you doing, I'm going to go make some gift boxes up. It all happens in-house. Downstairs, 40,000 dimple garments are dispatched a year. Half are sold overseas to some very flash mothers. And that makes this mother very happy. Everything about babies I'm interested in. Like, I watch Maternity Ward on Monday nights. This is my favourite programme. And, and I always have been like that. I've just loved babies. I really do like them. You have a serious addiction. Yeah, it is. Mm. So how do you feel when you know that these fabulous bits of baby clothing are going off to people like Liz Hurley? Oh, it feels really good. Really good. Yeah. Al McPherson. Exactly, yeah. No, I mean, it makes it all just feel like 
you've sort of achieved and you're making something that people like. And then Felicity and I just work so well together. Like, we don't, we really argue. I mean, I'm not saying we don't have the odd little tiff, <laughs> which is quite good, because then we become good friends again really quick. Yeah. But I think basically, we just work well together. We, we complement each other. Felicity's quiet and... Um, and you're what? Are you not quiet? Well, no, I'm not as quiet as Felicity. I'm, I'm a, lot, a bit noisier than Felicity, but it's a healthy combination. It works well. Hello, gorgeous. Hello, gorgeous. Hello. Is he finished? Yeah. Do you want me to take him yeah. up? Come to Grandma and I take you up to Suzanne and she can put you to bed. Come right there. So do you want me to work out how much fabric you need? Yeah, can you work that out and then I'll ring and order it. Okay. Is that cool? Oh, good boy. Good boy. With 14 kids, you'd think the parents would welcome getting away from home, but not this family. Sam McAllister actually moved his business from the city to home. He runs a consultancy and research service for law firms and, like Jane, has made use of the homegrown talent in son Chris. Keeping it in the family doesn't mean you don't apply yourself around here. In jet skiing alone, this family's bred four national title holders. You've got quite a collection up there of trophies and cups. Who are those? Yes. Um, those ones are James from his uh, jet skiing days. But what about the other kids? How have they fared? Uh, they've all... Um, They've all fared reasonably well in sports. Um, we've had them represent um, New Zealand in uh, water polo, athletics, uh, soccer, um, and of course jet skiing. Your quite children well. have done quite well. That's incredible. Um, so, I mean, it, obviously this is proof that none of those children have missed out on anything in terms of parental support and help over the years. No, no. Um, they've, they've all had um, the opportunity to do it, to do it and, um, you know, and as far as as possible. They've, they've done everything they really wanted to do. Good boy. There you go. There you are. There you are. What about the parents? Jane and Sam have never had a holiday together or even been out to dinner without the kids. But they do snatch private moments when the kids are finally tucked up in bed. But I think we're proof of the pudding. Mm. 30 years is a long time and we haven't had that time out and we've survived and we're probably stronger than ever now than what we were before. So maybe that speaks for itself. We find it, we put money more into a family present that's going to serve, you know, a whole lot of children can enjoy than buying lots of individual bits of rubbish, really. And every year we think of something that's going to be a, an asset to the family. And the swimming pool's been the best investment we ever made. <coughs> William's got... Um, left hemiplegia, which is um, a weakness down one side, which has been caused when he was um, in utero. It was devastating mm. because you know that you can have children that aren't quite perfect. Of course you do. But you never think it's going to happen to your children. Mm. And what it's really done is I think it's brought us a lot closer together. Bathing and the perpetual monster washing. To keep on top of it in this house, there are at least eight loads a day and two dryers that never stop. See, there's washing to be done. They load the washing machine, empty the dryers, load the dryers. Everybody pitches in as they walk through. If they see there's washing to be done, they load the washing machine, empty the dryers, load the dryers. We also sort of do our fair share of that. In a house of your size, what on earth happens to all the socks here? Just, I suppose you've got such a system that you don't even lose socks. No, we have huge bags of socks and we never actually ever, ever find them. And I just keep holding onto that bag just in case one turns up, but it's absolutely massive. Show me. Oh, excellent! All, all the missing socks. There are strict rules in this family. No drinking, no sex and no staying out before you're 18. So far, so good, at least as far as mum and dad know. And today, Victoria's freedom has arrived. You've just got to try and hope that you can get their brains to grow into their bodies, so to speak. And if you can sort of, you know, guide them to that age of 18, which is my age that I feel 
that they're, they're equipped to, to handle situations. Yeah, Mum really makes the decisions and things like that, but Dad is um, always supporting her. But yeah, it was really hard. We've had arguments about it and I've been quite unhappy about it, but um, no, it's really good now that I've got my freedom. We've handled a lot of situations, yes. we've seen a lot of things, <laughs> and we're getting good at it now. We know the same stories that they tell, and and it's you know a bit like a stuck record sometimes, isn't it? I heard that one before. <laughs> <laughs> so we're getting wiser, no doubt about mm. it. If we didn't have those kind of rules, then it would just turn into a bit of a mess because you'd be find it really hard to keep track of where everyone was. <laughs> <laughs> In this family, there's no shortage of attention. And if you can't get it from mum or dad, there's always someone else. You better dribble. There's always someone you get along with. Um, and that's the neat thing about having a big family, or, or someone, or like, uh, quite a few. So if you're having a bit of a tiff with one of them, it's not really a big tiff because you can always just keep your distance, so to speak. And talk to someone and, else. And, and talk to someone else. Problems or what you're with them. And they'll put it into perspective and they, they can sort of have a chat to them and sort of work it out and yeah so there's always someone to throw a ball with or um, play a ball game or, or do something with which is quite neat. Hamish yeah. hey, the dribbler strikes Charlotte. It's amazing just how you can love each one you know all different you know all, love them all the same and they're all so different but they you know like you could never I've had people say, oh, well, you know, you wouldn't miss one, and that's just such rubbish because they're all so special. <laughs> well, the one's not there, you notice. Yeah, very much so. Oh, that's cool, so everyone gets to have a holiday. And then there's the big gap when you leave home and find your own partner, like 20-year-old James recently discovered. Oh, I miss them all the time, you know. I guess I wish you could live here forever, but I'm um, certainly kicks you out after a while. <laughs> oh. I'm just tracking. Good luck, Nick. Night, Dad. Say goodnight to Dad. Good night, Bob. Good Charlotte. Good Daddy kiss. Come on, Charlie. Just before I go to sleep at night, thinking if there was a house fire, I, I picture where everybody is in the house so that I know if there was ever an emergency, how many children are in what room and what rooms they're in. That's one of my biggest fears, is being able to get them all out. Do you watch the movie and then go hop in your own beds, all right? Give us a kiss. My night, or just... Just kiss Nick. Good night. Good night, little William. Good night, little William. You're the good boy. You cuddle Nick, and then you can hop, then you can watch the movie, and then you got to go to sleep, okay? Will there be any more? Could very well be. Could very well be. It's, it's... People ask that in the past, and we just say, I get, we always just say, could be, never know. Oh, there might yeah. be. Mm. We wouldn't be unhappy if there was. No. No, we've just got to see what happens, don't you? Because I am getting a bit older now and you're getting a bit older now. We just have to see. And if any more babies come off the McAllister production line, we'll let you know.